Hey y'all, it's Brady. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Today, we've got our first ever Trader Joe's haul. Alright, so it's actually about 8 o'clock at night and we went to Trader Joe's today, but then we had to still do other errands and get things done, so we just came home, shoved everything in the fridge and freezer, and then that was that. And now I've pulled it all back out after bedtime and gonna share with you what all we got. So I had some money set aside for this kind of fun trip um, because we've been to Trader Joe's like maybe twice in my whole life, maybe three times. But literally it's to grab like one or two things or to browse. We've never done a full like grocery haul. Um, and so I'm really excited that today is our first, very first, like actual Trader Joe's grocery haul. Now, um, Trader Joe's for us is about a 40 minute drive in the opposite direction of everything else that we do. <laughs> so it is not convenient, but it was fun. And I found some good things, some things I've seen on Instagram, some things y'all have told me about. Um, one thing that I have tried that I just had to have again because you can't get it anywhere else. And um, then I did have to follow up at Kroger and grab a few other things that they just didn't have. And let me just tell you, Kroger was the worst experience today for grocery shopping. It was absolutely terrible. <laughs> They're redoing ours. I don't like it. Prices are insane. They were out of a lot of things, you know, the normal daily mess around here um, with grocery stores. And so it just was not pleasant. Trader Joe's was though, that was fun. So I believe we spent $131 at Trader Joe's and then I spent 61 at Kroger, but that was actually a boo-boo. They gave me $9 back, well, $8.99 back because my buy one, get one free coupon on my Eco's laundry detergent at Kroger, which was one of the very few things I went there for, uh, it didn't come off. And so I went to customer service and she gave me cash back. So really I spent $52 at Kroger. So we're right at $183, $183 for the week. So, um, way more than, you know, we are planning to spend considering we just did our huge once a month grocery shopping haul from Sam's Club and Target and Aldi. If you've not seen that, I will link that at the end of this video and up in the iCard if I can remember. But hello and welcome if you are new. I guess I should have started with that. We are a family of four. Is myself, my husband, and our eight and four-year-old girls a crazy 75-pound dog. Life's crazy busy. I just wrapped up a college semester. I also just found out and got accepted into nursing school recently. So that'll start in August. So there's going to be nursing school content. I work part-time plus YouTube, plus my husband works full-time, you know, plus running a house and all the good things that come along with that. So we're busy just like the rest of y'all. And I like to share our busy and I like to share our grocery hauls. What's for dinner, Sam's Club hauls. We try very diligently. We try very we try very hard to go once a month grocery shopping and do the majority of our shopping at the beginning of the month and then smaller like produce, milk, bread, and any like crazy good sales through the rest of the weeks of the month. This week is an exception because we went to Trader Joe's for funsies um, because I've been wanting to go there. So that explains that stuff. If you're new and you've never been here, I would love for you to introduce yourself. If you have been here a while, but you've never said hello, please leave me a comment and say hello. Um, so, um, if you are returning, so glad you came back. I am so glad that each and every one of you are here. I genuinely mean that. I love connecting with y'all. It is so much fun. So, let me stop yammering. It's been like five minutes of me just chip, 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 chip. Let's get into the grocery haul. Okay, so because it is Trader Joe's, I'm going to do my best to remember prices, but I'm probably not going to remember all of them. But again, just know we're right at about $183 for everything you see on the table. Uh, with the exception, I got some uh, myself a snack and a Mountain Dew that I ate when I went to Kroger or after I got out of Kroger. So that's not on the table. And then um, we did get one of those shopping bags at Trader Joe's and we are we do still have frozen veggies we do still have applesauce and canned veggies and canned beans and canned fruit um, and some fruit cups hanging around 
and a little bit of produce like in the fridge fresh. But we are going to the farmer's market tomorrow. And so I didn't buy a lot of produce because of that. So if we find some good deals, like I know there's going to be a lot of strawberries. So even though Kroger had strawberries on sale for two pounds for $2.97, I actually decided to skip those. And I'm banking on the fact that our local strawberries I'm going to get at the farmer's market are going to taste just so much better. So fingers crossed they're not, you know, astronomically expensive. Um, but, you know, I'm happy to support local farmers. The one we're going to is not one where they bring stuff in. It is all locally grown or crafted. Um, so anyways, we're really excited about that. Let me just share with you what I got. So this huge, huge 32 ounce, two pound bag of chopped romaine lettuce. This was actually only $3.99 at Kroger. So it was a better deal than anywhere else um, in the store. And it was a better deal even than like some of the bags at Trader Joe's. So I got that. Bananas from Kroger were 59 cents a pound. I believe this was $1.79 for the uh, one pound bag of carrot chips from Kroger as well. $4.99 for a personal watermelon that's the size of my hand, but whatever. We're, we're enjoying the, the watermelon right now. I did get these Gala apples. This is a two pound bag for $2.99 of organic Gala apples. This one is from Trader Joe's. And $2.99 for two pounds of organic apples is not terrible. But the real reason I got them is look at how teeny tiny those are. Those are perfect for my youngest who tends to love to eat a whole apple, but she can't quite finish one in one sitting. So I think that's going to be perfect for her. Uh, the Honeycrisp apples were $1.88 a pound at Kroger. So I grabbed four of those for myself. Uh, well, anyways, welcome to them, but it's probably going to be me that eats them. Okay, and then I think these were $3.99 or $4.99, I don't know. I think they were $3.99 for the mini milk chocolate peanut butter cups. I haven't actually tried those yet. Um, and then, could you tell we were hungry? I also got the dark chocolate covered caramels. I also got a lot of treats because it'll probably be like a year before we make it to Trader Joe's again. So that's why you're seeing so many treats. Okay. Um, again, I think these were like three or four ninety nine. I have heard these are really good. These were fifty nine cents each, I believe, for these fruit leather buttons. I don't know, peel away grape mango fruit leather, and if it matters to you, organic mango puree concentrate, grape juice concentrate, inulin fiber, pectin, and natural flavors. Um, but I just thought that'd be something fun for the girls to try. These were 99 cents by the checkout. These coffee lovers espresso beans. So I got these. It says chocolate covered espresso beans inspired by your favorite sweet coffee combinations. We'll give those a try. I believe these were $2.79 for the maple leaf cookies. I love maple cookies. So those will be a good hit around here for sure. We got some from, I believe, Aldi one time. And these almost look the exact same. They probably are the same cookie. Um, but we'll see. Okay. Then I got a few spices. I don't do a ton of these different blends, but some of these are just so fun and you know, for a dollar 99 each, you can't really beat that. So I really like the jars too. So we'll reuse the jars because they are class. So I got the 21 seasoning salute, which if you're curious is onion, black pepper, celery seed, cayenne pepper, parsley, basil, marjoram, bay leaf, oregano, thyme, rosemary, savory, Cumin, mustard, coriander, garlic, carrot, orange peel, tomato granules, lemon juice powder, lemon juice powder, oil of lemon and citric acid. And then we got a chili lime, which does have salt. It's sea salt, chili pepper, red bell pepper, lime juice powder, citric acid, and rice concentrate. Um, everything but the elote, salt, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, and cumin and looks like it's got some rice fiber and dried cilantro and a little bit of cane sugar in it too and then the citrusy garlic seasoning blend this one looked really good too garlic onion powder citric acid salt lime oil lime juice red pepper bay leaves coriander powder cumin ground black pepper then the rice concentrate bitter orange oil oregano cilantro basil lemon oil marjoram and parsley so, um, that sounded delicious too. So, you know, 
$1.99 each. You really can't beat those. And I like that they're in a glass jar because let's be real honest. If you just wanted to buy glass jars for your spices in this size, they're about $2 each. So, you know, and you're getting some seasonings um, that were fun. So we got those. I believe this one was $2.99 for this Trader Joe's garlic chipotle salsa. We're going to give that a try. We got some of this Incredi sauce. I have no idea. Sweet, tangy, smoky flavored dipping sauce. We're going to try that. I think it was $3.79. This red wine vinegar, organic red wine vinegar, was only $1.79 for a 8.45 ounce bottle. So we got that. Milk was about the same price as Kroger, so I just grabbed it while we were at Trader Joe's. It was $3.69 for a gallon of whole milk. And then you can see we already broke into the tea and lemonade with uh, lunch and dinner. So that's that. These were from Kroger. They're $3.49 each gallon. We got a sweet tea and a half sweet tea and a half lemonade. I wanted the Simple Truth chocolate almond milk. They did not have it. And I don't think Trader Joe's or at least our Trader Joe's closest to us sells a chocolate almond milk because I couldn't find it. So I paid $3.29 for that. Rigatoni, this was 99 cents for a pound of the wide rigatoni pasta. So I got that. Meyer Lemon Cookie Thins. I don't know, y'all. These just sounded really good. And they were by the checkout. They got me. Trader Joe's. $2.99 there. $1.67, I think, for a loaf of white sandwich bread from Kroger. These were, I don't know. These everything ciabatta rolls with sea salt, sesame seeds, dried mint onion, dried mint garlic, and poppy seeds. Four pack, and I think these were, we're going to throw these in the freezer because we're not going to get to them tomorrow. Um, and they do, they are dated for tomorrow. But anyways, I think these were either $1.99 or $2.79. Um, this was the one thing that I have tried that I had to have more of. When I had to go to Kentucky when my stepdad had a liver transplant, um, the closest little store to the hotel was actually a Trader Joe's and I needed shampoo. And so I saw this tea tree, tea tree tingle blah, 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 shampoo and conditioner that day. It was the only thing they had and I tried it and I loved it. And then I brought it home and I continued to use it. And then I was so very sad when that ran out. So these are $3.79 each. No, were they $3.79 or $2.99? They might've only been $2.99. I don't know. I resisted the urge to just grab armfuls, um, but I told myself to be rational. So I got two shampoo and two or one conditioner because I have another conditioner that I prefer. Um, but this is a really good, like sort of clarifying. I love that it tingles. I love the smell with the peppermint and tea tree eucalyptus smell. It's just right up my alley. Okay, the Ecos Plant Powered Laundry Detergent Lavender, yada yada. These are 100 fluid ounce bottles. Kroger, they're $9.99 each, but I had to buy one, get one free digital coupon. So again, after she gave me my cash back, I actually got them both for $9.99 total. So like $4.50 each. This was, I believe, $2.79 for the 25 ounce bottle of their liquid dish soap citrus scent. So I got that, and then this was $1.99 for their lavender hand sanitizer spray. So I got one of those, and I honestly wanted to get a couple of those, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go with one. $1.99 for this garlic and herb ready to bake pizza dough from Trader Joe's. I don't know, that just sounded really good for lunch one day. Uh, this was $2.99 for this five ounce container of the shaved Parmesan Romano and Asiago cheeses. So we're going to give that a try. That was a really good price for that too. I think these mini pretzels covered in milk chocolate were $2.99 as well. And then this was $2.99 for the organic Italian artisan pasta Gigli. I have no idea. Uh, G-I-G-L-I. If you're curious, fun little twisty shape. We thought that would be cool for a dinner. Uh, well, that'll get us that's one, a little over a pound. That'll get us uh, two full dinners um, for sure with leftovers. Uh, World's Puffiest White Cheddar Corn Puffs. That was $1.99 for that big old, or no, $2.29 for that big old seven ounce bag of that. And then we got some fun cheeses that we don't really see at our stores. 
or are more expensive or, you know, whatever. We just thought it looked good. So this was $2.99 for 0.6 of a pound of this uh, Wisconsin Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. Then we got this Jalapeno Monterey Jack Cheese. Looks like it's $4.99 a pound. A little over half a pound was $2.84. We got this Goat's Milk Cheese with Honey, five ounces. And I think that was $2.99 as well. And then I got this Italian truffle cheese and it was $6.37. It was the most expensive um, for about a half a pound. But this is gonna last us. Oh, and I got this one. Did I show you this one? The unexpected cheddar. I've heard really good things about this that has hints of Parmesan. And I love Parmesan and cheeses like that. So we're gonna give this a try too. And I think this one was $4.99. Um, but, or $3.99, I don't remember now, and it is a seven ounce black, okay, block. So, my husband is going to take like a snack plate for lunches this week, so he's going to do like a hard boiled egg and some cheese, some of this meat, and some of the pita crackers, and some carrots and guacamole. So, that's kind of what we're thinking for his lunches, so, you know, this will get spread amongst that for a while. I did get some of this Columbus peppered turkey breast for $5.69. Some of the, this six ounce sampler of uh, like deli meats, Calabrese salami, prosciutto and capicola or the gabagool if you ask my husband. Uh, and so that was, I think $5.99 for that six ounce package. So he's going to enjoy that. I already showed you the apples. Pita bread or pita crackers. These are actually from Kroger and they were $2.49 for the townhouse pita sea salt crackers. Pineapple tidbits were $1.99 maybe for a one pound bag. I got some of this roasted corn for $1.99. It's a one pound bag. And um, I'm thinking of making like a Mexican street corn skillet type thing with that. Corn dogs, you know, because that totally fits in here. No, uh, but my husband was like, I want corn dogs. So I got them. This was $6.49 for the 16 ounce box. Honestly, that was the smallest box they had. Um, so that's what I got. We'll have corn dogs for days. Um, <laughs> it was $6.49 for the 16 pack at Kroger. Then the mozzarella cheese sticks were $4.99 from Trader Joe's. And then, you know, everybody knows uh, the Trader Joe's Mandarin Orange Chicken Bake and Serve with a sauce, one pound, six ounces total. And this one was, I think that's $5.99. And then I thought this was cute. And so we got this pickle, the pickle in the shopping cart near you. I don't know. Trader Joe's presents, it was $2.99, I think, for this reusable shopping bag. And it is really large. It's a canvas tote. Um and I like it. So I'm excited about that. We put some of our groceries in that, some in paper. And let me just tell you, I am super impressed with the bagging skills at Trader Joe's um, because they really, I'm not complaining. Like they genuinely packed those bags really well. I think we got everything except for the gallon of milk in three bags. So, you know, that's a good deal to me. Whereas Kroger, I feel like they have a three item limit on there. Grocery bagging. Um, so you end up coming home with a thousand of those things. Anyways, that's everything that we got right at 182, no, $183 total. So I don't think we did too badly. And again, if we need more produce, if we see something that catches our eye at the farmer's market in the morning, we'll grab that. Otherwise, this is everything for the week. Again, check out the end of the video. Y'all know if you were here last week, we did that mega grocery shop for the month. So we really could have just not gone to the grocery store except for some milk and bread. But Trader Joe's was fun. So there you go. Um, so I'm very excited about that. So that's everything we got from Trader Joe's and Kroger. Let me know down below. Do you love Trader Joe's? Have you ever been to one? Do you have one near you? Do you shop there regularly? Have you never, ever been? You know, what's your plan with Trader Joe's? Um, or if you've ever been there. So again, if you're new and you've somehow made it this far, um, thank you so much for that. And leave me a comment down below and introduce yourself. Or if you're just never said hello before, please say hello in the comments down below. 
And until next time, I will see y'all in the comments down below until our next video. Bye y'all. All right, and so in typical fashion, I forgot a few things in the fridge. So these three things I overlooked as we were pulling the stuff out to share with you. So I'm gonna share with you now. So we found these cacao y pepe. I have no idea how to say that y'all, mm -mm, not a clue. Uh, but ravioli, thin stuffed black pepper pasta with ricotta and pecorino romano cheeses. I think that was $4.99. Lobster ravio ravioli, I think this was $4.99 as well, and that's a nine ounce package. And then I think this was $5.99 for this grilled chicken breast heat and serve. And these looked really good. It doesn't look like it's like, you know, gummy pieces of chicken. It's actually a real cut up chicken breast. So I'm excited about this. So that's the couple of things that I forgot. Thank y'all so much for being here and I'll see you in the comments down below. Bye y'all.